back to my channel. I'm going to do a makeup look with the Dollar Tree items that I bought. The link for that video is going to be um, down below. I went to Dollar Tree like an hour ago and did a Dollar Tree haul. And I bought a bunch of new makeup and things. So I wanted to do a nice cute look. And hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Excuse my hair. I look a little crazy right now. But it is the what it is. first thing I'm going to use um, to... Uh, add a base to add my foundation is this Maybelline cover stick I know it's not um from Dollar Tree but I needed something so that my eyeshadow can pop as well as stay on my face about six or seven times this is how it looks so far so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get the crease and with the crease I am going to use this brush right here as you can see I need to clean my brushes don't judge me guys so with the crease I'm gonna go in with this color right here uh, no, I'm going to use this one. I'm sorry. I like this color. So we're going to go on with this color right here. And we're going to add a top crease. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm still learning. I watch YouTube all the time. So please don't make fun of me. If you can leave some tips down below, let me know um, some ideas or ways that I could spruce up my skills. Let a sister know. So as you can see, these shadows are pretty much, see it has a lot of fallout. Um, these shadows are very shimmery. Like I said, these are great for, like, um, Christmas, Thanksgiving, weddings. These are amazing because they give you that shine that most people are looking for. So I'm just going to add probably one more coat to this right here. So now that that's done, I'm going to go back. Um, into the original palette and pack on this bottom color again because I feel like it's not popped enough. So I'm going to go back in with this color. I'm gonna go in with this sassy and chic um, color. It's dark, it's supposed to be dark, as you can see. I'm dark myself, I guess, medium, and it's <laughs> it's gonna be really light. So bear with me, guys. So guys, as you can see, the foundation really didn't come out that bad. It's just really like greasy and it's making me look like I'm sweating and the fan is literally on and I'm not hot at all so it gives you that like effect that like you're hot or something um as far as matching me as you see I have like dark spots I'm growing a pimple it doesn't provide much coverage 
But like I said, for every day, if you just want, you know, you're going to work and you don't want to be too heavy and you maybe don't have a lot of money, I guess you can use this. This will work. I would definitely use it again. Um, if I'm going to my family's house, like somewhere unimportant, unimportant where they're not going to care or notice the difference. But as you can see, it provides like no coverage. So Mm, you pick and choose your battles. Unfortunately, we, with my Dollar Tree, I didn't have any concealer. So I'm going to go go back in with that Maybelline um, coverage stick. And I'm going to put some concealer under my eyes and put some here, down the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. So now that I contour my face the way that I like to do it, I know it's not perfect. Everyone's not perfect. But I like the way it came out. Um, I love this shadow now. Like, it's starting to actually grow on me. I do, do, like, enjoy it now. So, I'm going to... Next, I'm going to set my face with this pressed powder in the color um, Natural Beige. Which, mm, I think it's going to make me look like a ghost, but... We'll see. I'll be right back. Now, like the fact how tiny this little mirror is. Like, who the hell is supposed to see their face in that? You can't even see your face on this part. You just gotta like dip low and see your face. I mean, what's this? Color, color, color mates. We gotta pull it together. We need a full face mirror, okay? So guys, I added the um the press powder. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would. I thought it would make me look like Casper the Ghost, but it definitely didn't make me look like Casper the Ghost. So, following this, I'm going to add some eyeliner, and then we're going to add those lashes. Unfortunately, I think my tweezers from Dolly Tree fell out on my way home. So, I'm going to have to use my hand and just, you know, pray to God that everything works out well. So, from earlier, I said that I used um, LA, LA Girl Liquid Eyeliner. But I actually use Color Color Matte um, Eyeliner. I have it somewhere over here. But I use Color Matte Eyeliner in all my pictures that you see on Instagram. So I'm going to give this LA Colors um, a try. I can tell you right now that the tip is super duper thin. So, yeah. Okay, we'll as you can see, my eyeliner has been added. It's not perfect, but I think it looks really cute. It's like 12 o'clock at night here in New York anyway, so I think it looks really cute. I actually like this um, eyeliner. It's the LA Girl more than I like the Color Mate. I feel like this one is more like smooth versus the other one. It's really chalky and it gets flaky. So, LA Girl, you did something with this one. This one's really good. It's really pigmented. I know my eyeliner is not perfect, so excuse me. So, I'm going to follow this up. I also added a little bit more of this powder. I actually like it. As you can see, I kind of did better at co covering my dark spots. Not too much, but it did a lot better than that foundation. So... For my eyebrows, I mean eye, eyebrows, eyelashes, we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild, the Mega Wear. I got this from Dollar Tree, um, like up the block from my house, not the one today, but I love this stuff. So we're going to go in with that before we add our lashes. You can see my individuals are added. I'm so bad at adding individual lashes. I mean like strip lashes, I usually get them done at the Indians or mostly the Indians, I think in New York City, I don't know, but we have the Indians that do individual lashes for $20. So I'm not used to putting these on. I think I did an okay job. Um, honestly, it took me like 30 minutes to get these on because of glue that they give. Make sure you have a scissors nearby when you um, are putting these lashes on because it's like, it took me like 20 minutes, y'all. So anyway, to follow up this, well, to end the look, I'm going to pick a lipstick. And then we're going to take some cute photos. And I'll be right back. 